What's up, everybody? This is the Asian Video Gamer here. Uh, this is gonna be a Dark Souls boss gameplay. I'm not gonna guide. Uh, I'm just really fucking tired of this boss because it kicked my ass a million times. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the Dark Lurker. Uh, you have to get to him by joining the Pilgrim of the Dark and then go through three different areas after you've gone through all three of them, when you leave the third one, you'll jump right into this boss. Uh, key things to know about this guy. He, uh... Freaking deals a lot of damage, as you can see. That first, uh, dark missiles that he shot at me. Uh, it dealt like almost half my life, or more. And, uh, it's actually quite annoying. And this guy's very high defense against physical attacks. Like right now I'm dealing nothing. I'm using a plus 10 claymore. And I have pretty high strength and dexterity for this. Uh, this is the move I was talking about. It shoots a bolt at you. Okay. And uh, you can't really dodge it if it uh, if you didn't run away fast enough when you see it, you won't be able to dodge it. And uh, this boss isn't it doesn't seem so bad at first. Wait until you get down to half-life. Then you'll see why this boss is a fucking pain in the ass. So, key strategies is to uh, just wail on him until his second phase. Unfortunately, if you're a melee player, this boss is going to be a fucking headache. These swings deal a lot of damage. So be careful. So he he uh, the number of moves uh, different moves he has is this one where he shoots dark missiles and when you see it you have to unlock him and just run the heck away and then the second moves uh, the melee range attacks he has is uh, those sword swipes now you see like near the halfway point this guy just splits into two now this is where the fucking shit gets real man. So that beam that he does, it's really high damage. It's also, uh, it sort of chases you. And there again, the different, uh, this, another move that he does, the fireballs, the three of them, they shoot like middle, left, and right. So be careful, like if you're trying to dodge it, you gotta run away. Rolling away will not work. Uh, the only time you have to rest is when these guys fly in the air. That's the only chance you got to, uh, you know, heal up or whatever. And uh, when these guys are chasing at you like that, yeah, just shoot them. Apparently, uh, these guys uh, can't take magic for beans. If you have magic, then it's better to just uh, kill them with magic, like I said. They, they do die pretty fast against magic. Um, but, holy shit, look at that. Like, out of nowhere, and then I just die. What the fuck? So here's the second attempt. Well, in the video, second attempt. In reality, this is like uh, my tenth attempt. Attempt. Like I got, I, I was trying to kill him with melee. There's just no way. There's just no way I can kill this guy with melee. And getting to him is a pain in the ass because those guys in the front that guard him, they're fucking annoying as hell. There's like a Havel, a Ricard Rapier guy. One, one some stupid caster it was annoying just to get him and also you can be invaded when you are going through the uh, dark chasms here I'm using a great shield that actually does sort of uh, prevent dark damage although you might want to use an actual magic shield and then just upgrade that into a dark path, infuse it into dark. That might be a better way to go. I don't know. 
Oh, I couldn't get away. Could not get away from that. It's so annoying. And uh, the reward for this, I don't think it was that great. I just, I think I used up his soul by accident, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not a, I'm not a hex character on this build. I'm just doing it for trying it out. But yeah. So if you're having problems with him, uh, use a soul vessel, become a magic guy, and just shoot lasers, uh, shoot magic at him. Because he's super weak against magic. You'll see in the end. I'm trying to save up my magic for when he... When he splits into two. So that's why I'm not casting anything. Well, except here I'm casting my soul mass. Because I couldn't hit him. See how much damage it deals him? Like one homing crystal soul mass deals so much. Well, I am a 50 build. Magic build. So, but still, look at that. Like, if I just cast, like, five bolts, he would have been dead. This is the only f thing that actually was good. Because, like, I was able to hit him both at the same time. If that soul, uh, I can't remember, soul bolt. That, I got really lucky. So, you might want to use that when he splits up. It might help you out. So, uh... If you guys have liked this video, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Toodles. Yeah, I'm deep. The dark. We...